Yo, what is up gamers? Today I am hungry as hell. I am fiending. Let's get the tortilla chips, bust them out, and pick up some salsa. So this is salsa. It gives you a plus one HP up and increases a random stat every single time you pick it up. But the interesting thing about this item is that it increases a random stat per floor. So, looks like this time for this floor, every single salsa we pick up will be getting a range up. On the next floor, every single salsa we pick up, it might be something different. It could be tears or it could be shot speed for all I know. That's what we're doing today. We got puberty, which is always something everyone goes through. Unfortunately, Isaac sometimes has to go through it maybe two, even three times, the poor lad. I've gone and changed every single item that can show up into salsa. And we're going to see if I can beat the run. See, this is a little bit concerning because our starting thing is not too good. It's range. I'm only going to get range ups for the entire floor. You know, what if I go the next two floors and all my salsas give me luck, you know, shot speed up all these other things what the hell are these enemies what are you uh two soul hearts from the tinted rock is awesome yeah i could get luck ups shot speed ups and then i'm on floor four already on depth or something and i got no statistics or i could get insanely lucky and for a floor all i get are damage ups from salsa there's no real way to know there's no way to influence it it's just pure luck of the draw so that's kind of what i thought it would be a little bit fun to experiment with here so let's see what we can get going i know that i really want that tinted rock but i want to see if there's a key here nice just so I can open up the golden chest as well. Okay, there's more salsa. Hell yeah, dude. More range. <laughs> now, of course, in a situation where I get lucky and my next salsa is pure damage, we will be sitting mega pretty, dude. Because we can get the treasure room, maybe the shop item, and the boss item. And then, you know, just now we got like a golden chest pool item. It really just depends on what the floor gives me. With this being said, there is some strategy here, which I didn't even think of. I could very well just save all all of my money until we get a good roll of our salsa right now it's obviously not the case so i don't need to be going and spending money or stuff like who cares it's just a range up but i will say by the end of this floor i will be shooting halfway across the universe nothing can avoid my tears i'm pretty sure if you hit the tnt on hot like perfectly <laughs> yeah <laughs> Did I do that? I don't even think I did that, dude. I think Hot just blew themselves up or something. That was insane. I'll take salsa again. This is about to make some people real hungry. I will be going to downpour because it's going to be just more fun, even though I think it's literally not worth it. The point of downpour is that you get more treasure room items. That's just not the case here. But whatever, the challenge is nice. Luckily, the one boon of salsa is that it does give you HP. So I don't think we'll be dying anytime soon, as long as there is some uh, no significant significant major skill issue happening you know range isn't really dps up but it does really help for these early floors knowing that i don't have to engage in these crazy enemies and their wacko tier patterns i could just keep my distance it's pretty nice but range is not all we need to get this going you know i could i could stay far away and play slow all i want but you give me a blubbian fight and uh i might get a little bit cooked not gonna lie Oh, reverse card, reverse judgment, whoa. In any other situation, this would be humongous. In this situation, everything is salsa. <laughs> it hurts to see, but at the same time, what can you do? Maybe I'll just take it with me because it would be funny, I guess. There's literally no reason. Every pedestal will be salsa. It would just be a waste of time and resources at that point. Let's just not do that. I think that truly begs the real question, the questions that should be answered today. What is your favorite flavor of salsa? Am I weirdo for saying I like the default the mild or am i kind of based in that sense dude i don't know i'm just saying you hit me with a mild salsa sauce with some tortilla chips place them on that party table with people around i i would take that entire salsa bowl and just like hide it away that thing is mine forever you will never see it again <laughs> if you do happen to have salsa on you right now maybe in a pantry or something or you just got it on hand i highly recommend busting it out for this video just so that you can immerse yourself even further it's a proven fact that that your mental will awaken if you uh, actually have salsa while watching this video. Oh, hello. To be fair, I don't care too much about you, so I'm blowing you up. And I'll just get some coinage back. That's nice. And I still got to find my treasure room. I am still working with very high range, but uh, base statistics here. I don't know what my uh, salsa on this floor is going to give me. The first time we get even a tears or a damage up, it's going to be humongous. Because that's going to be two, maybe even three damage ups or tears ups. I just need to wait for it to happen. Is this the one of my dreams? Pretty please? Oh, God. God. Oh, but what? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I did not know this is how this worked. <laughs> oh, wow. That is insane. 
Wait, this means a lot for the run. You're telling me that it removes the stats that you got from the last floor and then reapplies them to the new statistic? I didn't know this at all. I, okay, now I have six luck and my range is depleted. That really does mean I could get tears or damage for an entire floor and I'd be sitting pretty. Here's that blub flight that I absolutely predicted, by the way. And then next floor, I, I get a shot speed up and I got no damage on the chest, but I would have infinite HP because of salsa. This is actually turning into a true ass challenge okay all right i'm down dude you got me i think i'll also be hitting up the devil just so i can stack more salsas onto me and now that we know that the salsas apply to other statistics depending on the floor i want to get as many as possible and obviously i have a lot of hp because salsa gives you hp Phew, thank god my luck came into play in this boss fight that was clutch as hell there we go so more salts and it has to be luck up there you go let's go in here just because you know we might as well i, I know i have a lot of hp so maybe Maybe I can land another salsa. I don't know what my HP is. So just pay out once and then that'll be it. Nice! Another luck up and another luck up. And again, these are HP up, so I don't mind. Uh, not the most amount of money. So I think we just head down. Whatever this next salsa is, I think it's got to be some kind of stats. Otherwise, I might be boned here. Whoa. Why, what was that item? <laughs> I was like, some kind of guppy soul. I'll never know what it is. I'll throw it up on screen for you guys, though, so you get the satisfaction of knowing what it is. Here's our new stats. Oh! Dude, I shoot so fast, but, like, what does it matter? Oh, no, bro. I am going to need something other than a shot speed up real quick. Luckily, though, these are early floors, so I can work with base damage and tears from now on. But if I'm at the cathedral and I'm doing something like this, it's gonna get rougher and rougher, most definitely. What's in here? No extra salsa. That's okay. We got some cards here. A world card is nice for the next floor. And a judgment. Hold up. I can either blow up. No. For a better deal chance, I was gonna say. You can't blow up devil beggars for a deal chance so i'll just pay him out and maybe get a different salsa nice this will apply for later uh, and then yeah it's it's really sucks to think about but that reverse judgment just does nothing for me okay here's another treasure room now we already know what stats we got for this floor so it doesn't matter too much but it's still good to have i know that we have a knife piece on this floor i've gone and made it so story items are not re-rolled into salsa of course so we can take polar or negative but if i force a roll on the knife piece it should turn into salsa and that will be another one for the books. So that's probably what we're gonna have to do here. I cannot believe I have 3.50 shot speed. This is absurd. A cursed room. Okay, I am getting a lot of salsas here, actually. Kind of mega lucky on my part. Very happy about it. Thank you. And with the cash in hand, yeah, I'll take this as well. We got a restock machine. Maybe I could just get some money out of this. It doesn't matter if I'm, you know, properly restocking or not. Doing the pause trick. It's gonna get removed anyway. I'm pretty sure when the Isaac update comes out. Scratch card. Whoa! A hell of a lot of trinkets karma's okay faith is also okay teardrop charm does not matter for this run what is this double dose 45 percent chance to double the effect of eaten pills okay well weirdly enough i actually think blue baby soul is the best trinket here it is the only way of all the time so far and all of those trinkets that i've seen to give me some form of consistent extra damage that isn't just me hoping salsa pops off a hey, blue baby soul too like i if you know you know this this thing aims like crazy. It's like little Steven levels of homing. This guy cannot miss. I mean, like, seriously, look at this guy. Wow. Dude, the, the 360s and the 180s on the tiers. Did you see that one tier? Like, hello? It is absurd how much range and homing properties this guy has. That one tier literally tracked to where Wormwood was going to TP to. It almost hit him. That's nasty. Highly underrated trinket in my opinion. It's always been good, even in Flash. So we'll take this. That should be the Wormwood fight done. I did get tagged, so no deal. But, you know, as we move along, since we have 12 red hearts, it's going to be harder and harder to uh, try and land a deal. This is a very scary prospect for me. Am I really going to go and do this? the mirror dimension and fight all of those enemies with base damage tears and try not to get tagged twice in a room i oof i don't know dude this is probably the scariest part of the run the scariest part of the run it'll ever be but i think it would be wrong of me not to try so let's do it where's that mirror dimension ghost fire there you go gimme gimme hey how have your uh unlock spin or just you playing on isaac has it been fun you guys gaming today chillaxing a little bit has the isaac brain rock kicked in oh you took a break dude that's fine 
fine. Everyone takes a break every now and then. It happens. You don't need to be playing Isaac actively to enjoy watching Isaac. You know what I'm saying? If anything, I would argue that's also part of the culture. There was a time where I was watching Northern Line for a long time, but I wasn't even playing Isaac. I just watched. I don't even know why. It's like something in my brain. My neurons changed and I just <laughs> I just needed to consume. Ah, that's weird. I just unlocked a brain mental right there. I totally forgot that was a thing. There was a time I was not playing Isaac, but watching Isaac. And then after I took a break from watching Isaac, I started playing Isaac. And then I took a break from both. And then guess what? I came back to both. That brain rot goes crazy. I, I don't know if we all mentally have the same scenario here, like what happens to us. But Edmund must have implanted some kind of code in the game to absolutely destroy our brains or something because he has hooked us. This Wormwood fight should be fine. I'm mainly in it for the extra salts. I really want to see what happens when we get a good floor roll for our salsa. I, I like how much damage and or tears will we get? Or I could just get maximum speed. That would be funny, I guess. Yeah, I could use bombs for combat. That's pretty good. I suppose that is going to be my saving grace. Bombs are high priority right now. With low damage, it's the only way I can really pump out damage if I have a bad roll. Give me this, and then let's go find that knife piece to roll. La bomba wabamba. Give me the salsa. Uh, and then let's head to the next floor. You know, the funniest outcome here would be what if I go through the entire game and every single salsa does not land me any form of DPS. <laughs> then this would literally just be a challenge run of, hey dude, I beat the Binding of Isaac without any tears or damage ups, which I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do for a hot minute. <laughs> that would actually be kind of hilarious that I managed to do something like that. This is kind of like a pseudo thing like that anyway, which I'm down to do. Always having a nice challenge with low damage is sick to do. A good change of pace, I would say. Now, it is a bit scary because our shot speed is getting so high that I have to shoot them from far away. You can see here that my shots are actually phasing through enemies sometimes, and that's because there's some frames right there where my tears are passing through the enemy, so it's good to stay far away and then shoot them so that there's no uh, inclination of that. However, if I continue to get more shot speed ups through Salsa, oh my goodness, I didn't even want to go in that door. I just wanted to dodge. <laughs> yeah, if I get more shot speed ups through Salsa, it might get to a point where it's actually impossible to hit some enemies. I've had shot speed ups that are that breaking. Like I've had rigging runs like that and it gets really rough in order to hit the enemies. So let's make sure that does not happen. In order to prevent that, I think we'll have to save up a lot of bombs for combat so I uh, don't get soft locked or anything, you know? One of the worst Isaac rooms I've ever been into. If I did not have this trinket, I don't know how I would have made it out. Ranged. What happened? Wait a second. Hold up. <laughs> So you're telling me? Wait, that doesn't make any sense, actually. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me see what the salsa is. Is the salsa a range up? It is. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's analyze, because something definitely happened here. It seems like on this floor, I'm given range up, which is hilarious because I still do not have any form uh, of tears or damage the entire run. But also at the same time, that range up, or range down more accurately, made it so it procced the salsa effect for the floor. But even more interestingly is that I kept my shot speed then. So I got the full force of the next salsa, which was a range up, while getting to keep my big boy shot speed. In the scenario where maybe, maybe, I get two good floors worth of DPS, could I not break the game? Like let's say I'm on womb one or something, you know, and I get a damage up. And then the next floor, I just bank on it being a tears up. I get to keep the damage from all the salsa by taking the pill and then i would get the tears up by taking the pill and then i would never pick up another salsa ever again because then i would have the ultimate build this is actually possible to rig in the weirdest way possible i see the light at the end of the tunnel it's just a big risk it's not exactly in my favor because you know there's only two stats i really care about here and there's four stats I really don't care about, but you know, I'm willing to take that gamble because it sounds like it's gonna be fun. At the same time, dude, look at this range. Have you ever seen tier height go so high at the beginning of a, a shot? Like, like I shoot and they go upwards. That is unnatural. Gravity defying tiers right now. Bro got anti-gravity without anti-gravity. 
against the guy land a 0.5% deal chance. I'd lose my mind if it happened. Give me the salsa. Of course, it's another range up. We already hit the shop. We hit the treasure room. I feel like if I start exploring any more, I'm going to get hit more than gain anything. This is where it gets really hard, I think. Let's go down. Literally, this is what I said. I'm at the depths and I don't have any damage. Please be a god floor for me. We have to make it immediately to our treasure room. And luckily our world card has popped off. It's showing me that I can take a little bit of a shortcut here and speedrun things. And get my answer for how this floor is going to go really fast. Okie dokie artichoke. Let me in here. Uh, I, I guess I'll pay this guy off a little bit. You know, I mean, here's the pill. I, I guess if this is a, a stat changer, I'll get my knowledge of what I'm about to get. It's not. It's x lax. I was really thinking that would be the one. Oh. Paperclip trinket? I don't need that. Well, here we go. Take a deep breath and please be good. Oh, I mean, dude, 30 luck is crazy to see, but where is the damage? Where's the damage, Lebowski? I cannot tell you how essential it is that Salsa is giving us like HP and healing on pickup because I don't know how this would be possible otherwise. I'm very much enjoying the run though. Like this is an awesome challenge. It's turning into something super unique. The way I thought it was going to be is like, oh, Lamel, I, I get shot speed for this floor and then the next floor I'll get a tears up. But, you know, I get to keep the stats. But the fact that it's removed and applied to a new floor entirely, like, that's actually really sick. I like that. Until I start taking damage, in which case this game freaking sucks. God, I hate video games. Did I just hit up the boss right away? On God for real, for real current year? I'm thinking I do, man. Like, what is the use of me going all the way to the shop when I know it's just going to be salsa and I cannot even afford it? Anywhere I go, it's not going to be useful. The only thing I'm looking for in terms of pickups are bombs, you know? Like, okay, well, I just got a bomb. So I think at this point, it's going to be more essential for me to move the hell out and get the hell out ASAP instead of sticking behind and trying to min-max because what am I going to even min-max? I'll take the sauce, okay. And then I'll take all of this sauce because this is just a lot of stats waiting to happen. This was an incredibly good devil deal. Please be a good floor. I am fiending fiend folio type fiending oh! for damage why did why did it work here that doesn't make any sense why did the damage work i was i'm gonna say i'm waiting for the big man stats but i got it the moment i entered the floor i looked at my stats i had them does that mean on this floor i'm getting damaged maybe it just procked a little bit early maybe it's because i picked up salsa only one room away from going down to the next floor let's see all i gotta do is find one item and we'll see I i'm pretty sure on this floor i'm supposed to be getting damaged and that's what happened which means uh with our final boss being mom here not our final final but you know one of the finals i'll be able to handle this one pretty easily 20 base damage that's polyphemus levels and we got base tier rate very nice i can finally rest easy this is the type of floor where we mental reset, recuperate ourselves, and figure out what's going on. Proptosis would have been nice, but whatever. Is it damage? It is. Oh, I see. <laughs> This is my base damage. It did the thing like it did last floor, I see. Well, I lose out on the luck, but whatever. I did want to pick up the salsa anyways. The more salsa, the better. Who cares if I miss out on luck? What's gonna happen? Spawn more chests? Yeah, all right. Whoa, okay, hold on. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Immediate boss? I don't think I want to do that. Last floor, I wanted to get out as soon as possible because I had terrible stuff. But this floor, I got a little bit more resources to work with. And of course, wow, I am tempted. Uh, this is genuinely better. I'm about to show off how good polished bone is. Yeah, I have more resources. Maybe I can farm out another salsa. It's not like I'm going to be in dire straits here. I can absolutely handle whatever the game throws on me, at least on this floor. Polished Bone is an interesting one because I'm really going to miss the consistent damage from Blue Baby's only soul. And Polished Bone has the potential to absolutely get destroyed. In a bad room, all my skeletons get demolished and it's over GG. But if I'm able to streak these polished bones, these skeletons, better than anything else, then in theory, it will be more DPS. I just need to hope they pop off, hit all their shots, and uh, don't die. Reverse Strength is awesome as well. I'm gonna use Reverse Strength on potentially a very bad floor for us where we don't have damage or tears. It's gonna weaken whatever boss we find and make it easier to defeat. Uh, you know what? That showing makes me feel like Polished Bone is maybe not it. <laughs> okay, dude, I'm, I'm dropping it, man. I know that's a Brimstone issue, and, and the Skeletors get kind of demolished by Brim, but that was just a sad showing. You never want to see that in your game. I, I, I gotta drop that trinket real quick. I'm going back to the OG. But before we do that, we do have a vault. These places can have items every now and then. We got keys available. Ah, oh, no, it's just triple chest. Thanks, though. Let me buy some salsa real quick. Very nice. We could buy both of these if I just get two more cents. And I'm sure I'll get two more cents. I'm gonna force two more cents. 
I didn't think I needed to blow up my donor machine, but things must happen. Sacrifices must be made. More damage, and we are good to go to the next floor. All right, yeah, give me blue baby soul back. This guy's the real winner of the run. This should be an easy enough fight. Our stats are super good here. I'm literally one-shotting enemies that take six shots at base damage. That is marvelous. Uh, I'm gonna take negative because it's an actual base damage up that isn't reliant on salsa and hopefully this next floor is good now if I wanted to well okay what happened to all of my damage I was gonna say I would just keep my damage and not pick up any salsa but my damage has gotten shot so we got to pick up salsa <laughs> nothing but salsa today gamers going full on party food today we have at least one damage up though 5.19 base damage thanks to the negative at least it's workable now we're at the part where I, I need to go out of my way to pick up red hearts. You know, that means we are not looking good. If I am using bombs to <laughs> break open a red heart as a pickup random spawn, that is not a good look for your run. I don't think it's completely Jover, don't get me wrong. But I think we are definitely in a downtrend here in terms of run possibility of, of us winning. The closer we get to the end, the harder the rooms are going to be. And on a floor where we get no stats, the more likely we are going to fail. So let's hope that we don't try acting it is going to be a near impossible fight with base damage tiers i'm very tempted to use reverse strength here to get it done faster i'm about to get rng hit and i'm not a fan of that that was not rng that was skill issue to be fair okay okay hey you know what only a one hit triacnid base damage i'll take it not too bad what was our stats it was range god damn it uh all right well let's go dude i'm not even gonna get stats for oh never mind i am i don't know why it's working like this but i'm not going to complain Thank you. I was gonna say I'm not gonna get stats for this floor because I don't even get a boss drop I would need to hope on a devil deal spawning which was there's no chance of that happening But we got it. We got the best of both worlds somehow. This is a range down pill What does this mean for me? I thought I knew how it worked before but now I'm just scared now I feel like if I take that range down pill, my stats are going to get updated. I'm going to lose everything. I'm not going to mess with anything at all. I'm just going to run with what I get. If I get bad stats, I get bad stats. Those guys are just clumped up there, aren't they? And if I get good stats, then I'm going to be happy about it. But I'm not going to try and force anything. I'm just going to play it out. If you want to bless me with 20 base damage while I got to fight It Lives, I do not mind if I do. It Lives can be a tough fight with all those enemies that they spawn, especially considering you have base damage. You want to take care of those enemies faster so the waves get by faster. So you can take care of it lives faster when you don't have base damage to do that it's tough so this is really good for us i'd love if gluttony didn't pick like less than three to drop nice because it would just turn into salsa actually that would that would be good wouldn't it because it would it would still like heal me well whatever i'm happy to fight gluttony in general because he either drops hearts or he drops hearts <laughs> And to me, that's gamer as hell. You love to see it. It's it lives time. And with our high base damage, this should be easy enough. Also, our insane range means that I just do not have a chance of missing here. This is an easy fight. I'm more just scared for sure. Out. Whoopsies. My bad. 1% deal. Not happening. Here we go. Take a deep breath. We're almost there. We're in the end game now. Now it gets really bad. One base damage up and all the range in the world. Please do not destroy me. We definitely have to evaluate how valuable our bombs are for combat. Like, I need to save a bomb at least for the demon fight. Why'd I call him a demon? Well, he is a demon. The Satan fight. So I can do the, the Satan kamikaze bomb fly strats because you get so much value out of that like i'm not gonna blow up loki here i'm gonna waste a bomb he can blow himself up as well anyway dude okay you know how i said high value bombs this is one of them i do not want to deal with a double dark one please be the right way the boss because having the backtrack would be terrible what is going that is an epic fetus grimace it's over for me it's over it's over it's over it's over it's over what a, what a terrible terrible design for an enemy you gave epic fetus to the strongest freaking enemy in the game wheel of fortune oh my god i want it to be normal slots i needed hearts hearts not this oh twisted pair ah do i take jawbreaker maybe what if i get luck on the dark room and then i get to shoot all teeth that would be insane oh wait 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 wait, wait. there's a queen of hearts oh my god i'm saved thank you that was insane what a clutch play that fortune teller actually saved my life there is a strength card here Let's use it on the Satan fight and save the reverse strength for the lamp fight because I do think it's a better uh, card overall. I got a six heart Satan fight. Is it possible? 
Probably not, but we can definitely try. All I gotta do is time this pretty well. I'm counting in my brain, don't worry. We got it. Use the strength card right away. Don't even wait on it. There's no reason not to. And let's pop off. Dude, Jawbreaker, you gotta go off, dude. You gotta pop off more than you've ever popped off in your life. I definitely appreciate the eight base damage tooths that shoot out every now and then. You can see the health chunk down whenever it hits. Nice, just like that. And the Fallen's done. We got a Satan fight here. Time to test out my Satan fight prowess. Can I handle this fight these days? I know that I struggle with this fight sometimes. But we're doing pretty good so far. If you're gonna close in on me, I'm gonna move. But if you're just gonna shoot like that, this is really easy. Thank you. Just just keep doing that, dude. Just keep doing it. What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave. <laughs> Pretty good overall. Okay, when I am locked in, dude, Satan stands no chance. What a good fight. This is the scariest phase. Kamikaze flies just be a period, man. You can use them for your own offense, but I'm not gonna focus on that. If they die and they deal damage, they die, deal damage. That's not a main priority for me. I just don't want to get hit. Next floor, we do heal a lot as well, just because we get to pick up the salsas and they give HP and heal. So we won't be only six HP. We'll be a little bit better. All right, I did have to go like lock in mode, silent mode there, just to make sure I didn't get hit. An actual like Binding of Isaac try hard moment. It's not often I have to do that, but it does feel good whenever I get to do it and it's forced to happen. And now we're rewarded. We get to go to the dark room after I pick up the reverse judgment. I mean strength, be right back. Okay, with Jawbreaker, I would take anything other than speed, range, or shot speed. I'll even take luck. Huh? Please God, oh I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Can you please tell me why you're costing money right now? I am very curious. <laughs> that is some baloney. That is not fair. You cannot tell me that's the case. Okay, I need to find a chest or something. Please spawn a chest so I can reset my stats with the salsa and so I can get uh, a fat tears up and I don't have to worry anymore. Or, you know, spawn like 15 cents somehow. Probably unlikely. Way more unlikely. But it could happen. I can't believe it. Why is it costing money? Oh, what is this room? Oh my goodness. Hey, yo, what you gonna do? Uh, I literally moved at full speed. I hate you. A key. Yay. <laughs> it might be over, guys. Aw, oh, it's done. I could guess the secret room on a Hail Mary, but as it stands, I, I, I think like the reason the salsa is costing- Oh, wait, hold on. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Like, why- why is it costing money? It should be costing regular here. <laughs> Give me the hearts. I'd pay for them all immediately. Of course it's a speed up. The one thing I didn't get until the very end. It- it, it only makes sense that this would happen. I should have foretold it. It was the only comedic answer left. Next fight we have, it's done. Like, I, there's- I can't beat this. I- I- uh, it's actually impossible. Wait, actually, honestly, this is not that bad of a fight. That's a damn cope if we're being real here, but I might as well cope. Ah Dude, what a sick challenge. Okay, honestly, I'm happy I made it that far. That turned into a challenge and not just me being uh, overpowered and broken, and I really enjoyed my time. I hope you guys did too. I hope your salsa was delicious. I hope you're having a good night's rest, and I hope you keep on gaming. And also, guess what? GG!